Hey guys, what's going on? It's Whittle. Um, today, I bring you guys my first video and one of many of uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, this game is... Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with a good review of what I think this game is so far. Um, Call of Duty Ghost, I think this game is, in my opinion, the best the best Call of Duty because of... You can tell how much work was put into it um, in making sure that the experience was equal for everybody. I mean, first off, there ain't much lag comp in this game at all or nearly as much connection issues as previous Call of Duties. Um, I think it's on dedicated servers for the most part it seems like that. I've had like one maybe two issues the whole time I've been playing this game where I've had any connection issues at all. And other than that, uh, that, that, that to me is one of the huge game breakers right there. That, that is already why this game is probably going to last the whole year and be a lot of people's favorite. Um, number two, they brought the chem strike in, or you know, a nuke type thing back. I love that they did that. Um, it's definitely a lot harder to get in this game. I mean, it takes some serious skill to get that in this game. Um, you die a lot faster, so, I mean, if you screw up once, there's just no recovering from it, you're dead. Uh, uh, you can't turn on people really in this game. You're getting shot at from behind. You're pretty much just keep, start, you might as well just start hitting square on your controller or, or X if you're on Xbox, because you're going to be respawning. Um, Quick scoping. They said quick scoping was gone. That is just like the Robert Bowling troll. There, there is definitely quick scoping in this game. Uh, you know, same thing happened when Robert Bowling said uh, no last stand. There's, there was, there was more than last stand. Um, so there's quick scoping in this game. Definitely possible. Uh, first time I pulled out a sniper, I got a quad feed. Like even though the feeds in this game is a little uneven, I got a quad feed. I've done it several times. I, I'm a monster at sniping in this game. Um, you die, you, I mean, you shoot someone in the ankle in this game with a sniper, they're dead. Because, um, the health is so low. But, um, anyway, that's my review of what the game is so far. I'm liking it a lot. I know I said that about Black Ops 2, but I, I rushed that. This, I'm liking this one a lot. So anyway, this gameplay you're seeing is my second chem strike that I've ever gotten. First one I got was on Octane. I'm not gonna lie. I was camping like a little bitch because I really wanted to get a chem strike. Um, so I was I was just on the rooftop camping, uh, not in a corner, I'm not that bad, but uh, I was definitely playing defensive. So anyway, this one is on the map Freight using the vector silence with grip, and I would tell you my special slowed out, but it's so different from MW3 that I forgot half the perks I was running. So. <laughs> But um, yeah, this chem strike thing is really badass. I really like getting it. Um, both the times I've ever tried to go for a chem strike, I've got one so far. But I'm gonna give you guys a little tips right now on exactly how to get a chem strike and uh, what you should use to uh, try to achieve this. Um, number one, you're probably gonna want a suppressor. Obviously, um, in this game, it's definitely a factor because uh, the satcom system is so tricky um, and there's so many spam that you're going to need to be off the radar so a silencer is really good on your weapon next you're going to want off the grid which is like an um, assassin from MW3 uh, keeps you off the radar uh, third you're going to need dead silence you can hear footsteps even without the perk amplify you can hear footsteps so so well in this game anyone with the headsets already at a 50% advantage against you so um, definitely gonna want that. After you get those perks out of the way to keep you off the radar and out of people's way on uh, minimap and through their headset, you're gonna want to go with some perks that are gonna help you uh, increase your movement. I uh, I really like to use like uh, sleight of hand, quick draw. Those are those are really good things to get your edge up in this game, considering how fast you die. You're gonna want those perks on agility and move um, marathon. You can you can go without because most people aren't running those perks right now. Um, your movement isn't too bad as long as you're playing. See how you'll see how I'm playing this game. I'm not running in the middle of the map at all. I'm using this little tunnel underground to get into their spawn and come up behind them and flank them. That's the best thing to do. You run out in the middle of any map in this game, you're dead. So uh, definitely gonna want to use those perks. Silenced weapons. You're gonna want to gotta learn how to work the maps. Uh, you'll notice. I mean, like I just said, stick to the sides of the maps. You're not gonna want to run out. You're gonna die. Um, try to learn their spawns. I'm playing this map. Uh, I'm playing. On Freight, I was playing solo in Team Deathmatch, and I was getting a spawn trap by myself because I was killing them in their spawn. Um, but those are pretty much the best ways to get a KEM strike as of right now. I only have two of them. If you guys really want to see my first one, let me know. But it's just it's just camping on the roof at Octane. Although I, I've had some close calls. But anyway, guys, that's how you get 
the chem strike. Um, I, I wanted to thank you guys for um, the feedback I got in my montage, on the Rapture montage. Uh, a lot of really positive feedback, guys. I really appreciate that. I put a lot of hard work and money into that montage. And um, I can't wait to you guys uh, see what I'm going to bring called the Ghost. So I'm hoping to bring a lot of really good gameplays. Um, I, I've been recording every single game that I've played since midnight. PPR has been, been running just non-stop. Um, I'm already first prestige level like 16, ranked like like 900 and, 950 in the world for kills. I'm uh, I'm trying to go for number one, guys. So uh, I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can for this. I'm hoping maybe one game a day right now, which would be pretty cool. If not, once every other day probably. Um, but I'm trying to go for number one in the world. I can do it. I already know I can do. It. I already have over a day and a half played in this game. Um, I'm real. I I play Call of Duty a lot. Uh, so, anyway guys, uh, you're gonna see right up in a couple seconds, uh, I'm gonna get the chem strike. By the way, the other cool thing I like about this Call of Duty, than any other Call of Duty, is the dynamic things. This was seen a little bit in Black Ops 2 and 1, when you can, like, open and close doors. But, like, I mean, you can shoot the ladders, they fall down, you get some kill streaks. um, you can, like, blow trees up, stuff like that, the logs fall, um... I know there's one map on Whiteout, you can call in a satellite crash and it crashes into sea. It's just so many cool things about this game. Really recommend getting it. Um, graphics are great. Probably be better on next gen consoles, but this game's great, guys. So, anyway, that's my gameplay for today. Uh, final score, I think, it was 31 3. This was uh, Team Deathmatch, solo chem strike on the map Freight, using the Vector Silence, guys. So, I've been Whittle. I'm out. Peace, guys.